All right, ladies and gentlemen, all you wonderful people out there in the crowd, everyone watching this on YouTube, the arena is back on this great Sunday. We are gonna finish week number two of our $2,000 league series together. And what can I say? It's gonna be a glorious day for every MK fan. Robo, that was a little bit close to the camera. Wait a minute, Robo. I, I got a little bit scared here, okay? Relax a little bit. I'm still doing the introduction here, Robo. Let's keep it professional, okay? Let's keep it professional. What was I about oh, to say? We have a phenomenal card, and of course, we have my boy Robo, the Brobo, back on the mic, and you guys know it. Whenever I'm able to commentate with Robo together, it feels like coming home for me personally. I mean, we started this entire thing together four years ago, and somehow we are still here, Robo. I don't understand. Are you ready for some crazy MK1 sets? Rip, I am more than ready. I cannot <laughs> wait. After seeing the lineup today, you all are in for a treat. Oh, As I'm always. Curious how many of our viewers are familiar with players like social some of these people that really trust in mk11 and haven't uh -huh. been around much for mk1 like you all are in for a treat oh yes we have some very very strong players on the card and it is weird, Robo, because back then you mentioned our MK11 days, you know, with all of our MK11 core players. It felt like we were such a small community, right? It felt like everyone knew each other. But now since MK1 is finally released and the channel grew so much as well, by the way, close to 50,000 subscribers over there on YouTube, Robo. 50k! Ah, that is that is incredible guys thank you so much to everyone who is hitting that subscribe button who enjoys competitive mk1 with us but yes the question is how many ogs are still over there on the youtube side who remember those old sweats i mean we have arena is free back in the league schoolman social yeah. today you know what guys we're going to take a look at this lineup together it is going to be a good one five sets in total that means we have 10 alpha sweats on the big stage today and just looking at this lineup i can already promise you a lot of different matchups, a lot of different characters, a lot of different regions, and that is exactly what we stand for here in the arena. We try to showcase the entire beauty of the MK community. Match number one, Galizy versus Raven Lina. And those two are definitely no new players, Robo. Very strong Liu Kang on the left, and of course, that Kitana <laughs> combo warlord on the right, oh, with yeah. so many fans on the YouTube side at this point. Yeah, love watching Raven Lina's. Uh katana <laughs> yes a lot of people all, actually do. and i can understand why robo you know <laughs> raven lena brings combos with kitana i've not even seen faisal do those and that's maybe what the people want to see we have horror angel who had a crazy good debut fight we actually commentated horror angels debut together robo during our special event i think a week ago today matched versus rinsla we have social who is back on the big stage after i think a year robo it feels like social only played in week number one of mk1 so, yeah. and then completely disappeared but now he's back on the grind versus peruvian dog that means noob cybot combos are gonna be in this stream as well the Nejem versus shutter and then last but not least toadster versus b -Wood. and chat yes i'm trying to speed run this because the players are already in the lobby seatbelts on and i hope we're gonna have a great night full of mk1 action together robos on the mic honestly nothing can go wrong let's go So, what are the characters? Of course, we see Kitana on the right, Robo. You know, Raven Lina would disappoint so many people by switching characters. <laughs> I want to see Raven Lina pick Homelander <laughs> Farah. Alright, here we go. We got that new loud combo. Builds a Coliseum. Why? Do Earthrealmers not have sports? Signal Center with the first gifted of Robo. We are getting blessed by this community again. And I cannot thank you guys enough. Thanks for being here. And now let's see who's going to take this. But don't get it twisted, guys. Even though I see a very one sided chat prediction, Galizy is one of the craziest PC Liu Kangs I know. And this is not going to be a walk in the park for Ravenlina. Yeah, we'll see. Liu Kang, one of those characters you can just really put up with a lot of the matchup in this game. Yes, Robo, Liu Kang has a lot of tools. You know, even though I, I say that all the time when we have Liu Kangs on stream, it is a character we don't see that often, but in my opinion, it is the perfect pick for high-level MK1 because barely any bad matchups, good zoning, good buttons, strike throw, the character has everything you need. Yeah, it's super solid. And look at the pressure right now. Raven Lina already oh, yeah. on live support, magic button loaded, and Galizy is saying, are you guys sure? Spending 324,000 channel points on Raven Lina because I'm gonna win. That's what he's saying. Yeah, 
be like that Liu Kang skin. That's just his punk face. Do you think punk it's, it's because of the skin robo? Almost definitely. Do you think the skin actually powers up the players, depending depending if it's a good skin or a bad skin? I absolutely think so. Basically a form of cheating. <laughs> it might be. Revelina trying to somehow bring this back now. But of course, easier said than done. Good neutral here from Galizi, the way he dodges all those projectiles. But clean hit confirmed. Corner carry right on top, even though I'm a little bit distracted by that, you know. With that uh, Kitana pass right there. It's a little, it's a little <laughs> bit tight. Um, sorry, chat. You got nothing on Andy, man. Final round. Fight. Looking for the mid opening. There's the forward four. And no, uh -oh, what the hell is it? No, 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 chat. Okay. No, I'm no robo. I, I have to talk to this community. Business cat and the mad scientist, of course. You know, the two one man hype tracks here in the chat. Thank you guys <laughs> so much. But, guys, you know what to do. It is perfectly fine. Robo, well, I'm a little bit scared with this community. Like, every single time, I feel so <laughs> bad because. Uh, I don't know how to give back enough, you know? I'm trying to. You're, you're already giving back. Robo, stop this, it. This no, is the, community giving back to you. No, <laughs> Robo, the, the amount of love I, I get here, or we receive on a daily basis for more than four years. There's honestly not. I could stream 24 hours a day and produce content nonstop, and it still wouldn't be enough. Guys, thank you so much for allowing me to do this here from home as a full time job. I'm so fortunate oh, to have a community like this. But no, back to the match we go with a good caller from Raven Lina. Oh, and that's gonna be it. No breaker in sight. Damn. Yeah, honestly, that Pacey is not a bad call versus Lou. Does Lou have any low starters? I know he has some really solid mid. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah, so, I mean. Against the character without low starters, you can throw out that parry pretty freely. But man, Raven Lina had to fight for this one. Even though, I gotta say, you know, Galizi with a very, very strong start. Raven Lina able to clutch it out in the end, but boy oh boy, that was close. And maybe we even see a game 5 here in match number 1. And that's always the best start to kickstart an arena event, Robo. Yeah. My boy Christian in the chat, of course, with the 300 bits here for the community. Guys, what's happening? Is it because it's Sunday? Is it because it's still the weekend? Or is it because Robo is back on the mic? Why is everyone having a party in the chat? Dead or alive, you're coming with me. <laughs> scientist, go Robo, on, look guys. at them. These guys, you guys out there, you are unstoppable. Thank you so much for being here. A big shout out to the YouTube side as well. Guys, I hope you enjoy the sets. We got some spice in the pipeline for every MK1 fan. And Galizi is delivering as we speak. Beautiful anti here. We're a pretty significant conversion here. Oh, these Did little staggers. The, the third one building? is the Charm Robo. Finds the hit confirmed. Sub Zero coming in clutch with a little freeze. And right into the vortex we go. We are still. What are these combos, Robo? What? What the hell is this setup? What the hell? What is it? into his setup is crazy. Hey, what's up, this guy? Oh, Ravelina, that is. I'm not even sure if that's allowed. <laughs> Yeah, does anyone know how plus that is? The uh, when Sub Zero throws you at the opponent. Of course, Robo and I we know the frame data, but we want to test if the chat is aware. Low basso, Galizi, one touch away. Don't get shimmy, my friend. Don't press. That is a little trap. Sponsored by Ravenlina, a solid tech saying get off of me. Ooh. Had the opportunity to whip punish. Wake up, down one. And Robo, I think this is going to be the round for Galizi. But man, every single time we go down to the wire. Round two. Fight. Yeah, this is anybody's game at this point. How do you pronounce that? Go. <laughs> Galiza? I just think Galizi, yeah. Galiza. Turkish player, by the way. Very, very strong. I mean, as expected, part of the mighty R team. Yeah. 
lot of zoning. Monclizzi is on on Raven Lina's end, and that means we can comfortably, you know, throw a few projectiles here. And there. Yeah, first go in the chat, good to see you. First, we've been grinding like crazy lately. That's right. Shout out to my boy. Good opening. Oh, I like what I'm seeing here. Raven Leader getting more and more confident in this matchup. You dare yeah. threaten royalty? Final round. Back, back one is just the damage. Or back two. Whatever the button is. <laughs> I haven't played this game in so long. And by the way, Robover, choo choo everyone because we are chilling here on a level three hype train already in match number one. And guys, that is just the beginning. Even though Ravelina right now literally looking unstoppable, try to push him into the vortex again. Four plus frames. No one in chat answers. I was going to assume that it's plus 69. Hello, Z. Now, forward four, of course, the good old BNB. Well, I'm surprised that uh, Sweet with. I like the decision making from Galai. Trying to backlash, trying to find the opening that way. Has to break here. And now, no resources available. Next touch is gonna be it. Yeah, I gotta make something happen here. Even Lena sitting on a massive life lead. Oh, went for the anti-air, but barely whiffed it. Robo, not hurt. over. We spend it. Okay. Cash out, of course, not gonna kill. But it at least gives him a chance to somehow rob this. And he gets Oki. Uh, he gets Oki off of his uh, fatal blow. So it is still his turn. What's the read? 4 but 4 checked. Oh! That is good! Beautiful, beautiful. What an answer from Galaisi. He knew exactly what to do. Liu Kang wins. Yeah, that was, that was incredible. No, Robo, that was more than incredible. How <laughs> was he ready for this particular situation? I need the Just replay right now. No, that was Chef's Kiss, and that is exactly the level of gameplay we witness here on a daily basis. Galaisi, phenomenal. All right, so no character switches here. Uh, yes, Goku Snoopy, this is the first set of the day, or night, depending on where you are. You are right, Kitana. It is not. And by the way, I heard that the NA side of the world finally has, you know, the time savings as well. So we are back to our regular schedule, 1 p.m. Eastern for everyone watching from the NA side. I always get so confused, Robo, because we're literally one week delayed for whatever reason. No one understands. Yeah, I hate it. We have time savings in Euro one week before the NA side of the world has, and that, that shit is so confusing. Yeah, it makes no sense. Uh, is something going on, Ram? The stream has become unwatchable on the show. Let me try to restart this for you, Robo. There we go. Here we go. Now More zoning. Beautiful Liu Kang skin. Alright, so far, no significant conversion. Just whittling each other down here. Nice, flawless block. And once again, the corner pressure starts that you don't want to be there. Not versus a player like Raven Lina, not versus Kitana, Big Curtain and Anarion. Thank you so much for the support. Oh, no, Ooh, with Punish Robo. No Galaisi a little bit afraid to press. Yeah, I don't like it. 13 seconds on the clock here, got the opening, and that's gonna be the round. But man, that is such a good set to kickstart a, a today's event here. For real. I think no one in the chat expected this to be that close. I mean, based on those chat predictions. 88% on Ravenina Robo, yes. <laughs> I got some nervous people in chat, I bet. Man, a lot of these hits, but nobody confirmed. Those show me so much respect. 
Nice tech. Uh, you need those hit confirms, of course. And back to should we go? Just sweeping his way to victory and now, of course, making use of that strike throw. That's where Liu Kang really, really shines. You gotta condition your opponent with that. Oh yeah, you can't tech him off. We got clips. No breaker in sight. Oh, a rare drop from Raven. Another big whiff, but just the sweep. I think Alizi, he really has to commit to some buttons to cash out on the damage. Yeah, he's landing a lot of hits, but just not confident in, uh, in cashing out. Here we go, seven seconds on the clock. This is going to be... I mean, yeah, that's it. Revelina's running out of time. That is the problem. Yeah, not the sweep. It doesn't work out. Galizi knows what to do. Just hold that block button. Unlike Robocop in Combat League. Hey. Robo, I know how you're playing the game. Catching strays over here. <laughs> Grab. Yeah, and that's what we Little need, you know. Get that strike throw rolling. Ravenlina has to be a little bit afraid of those buttons. All right, it's also an interesting matchup because once uh, Galiza gets the life lead, Ravenlina has to get in. She can't keep conti uh, continuing trying to zone out. And Robo, slowly but surely, the, the tables are turning here. Galizi oh, with yeah, a big, make. big life lead. Ravelina not able to pick it up as well. It's looking dangerous. <laughs> Pressure sequence, I like it. Into the throw. Wait, this is getting closer and closer. Both players, yeah. magic button. But of course, Galizi is sitting on all resources. Full bar, full breaker, big whip! Ooh. Yeah, I'm really surprised we didn't see a breaker earlier. This is the final round. You're not saving anything for next time. Look that hitbox. Look at that hitbox. Look at that hitbox. <laughs> All right, I did not. I don't think anyone saw that coming. I think you killed Rip. Jesus Cristo. Galizi, we have to talk, my friend. This is going to be an arena investigation right after the stream. This has to be against the rules, Robo. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he came nowhere close to her, and that head just popped. What the right hell was off. that? He what was that hitbox? <laughs> Chat. Right, YouTube. It is not. I want to read in the comments. Is that is that allowed? Round one. Fight. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Three main is saying the chosen one's hitbox. I think that's exactly <laughs> what we saw. I know we got a lot of nervous people in chat right now with those predictions because Eliza's sitting on... He's sitting on match point and I see so yes. many scared faces in the chat room. Well, the people spent their life savings on Raven Lena. <laughs> Man, you gotta watch out for those back throws. Empty jump in or so much confidence in Galizi's gameplay right now. Oh yeah. And a lot more risks being taken. Yeah. All these blocks as well. The defense from Galizi is phenomenal to watch in my opinion. Like the way he spaces. And now, okay, we finally commit Robo, and that is the damage I want to see. 29%. <laughs> <laughs> We're seeing a ton of whiffs from both of these players, and not a whole lot of whiff punishes, surprisingly. Crucial tech from Ravenlina. Barely staying alive. No pickup. Forward four. I saw armor right and after. Armor. Not your turn yet, Ravenlina. Ooh, that was a ballsy armor, too. That would have cost him a round. Bro, Robo, I, I honestly don't understand what we are watching right now. 
Uh, we're watching a lot of people get very nervous. Just listen to the flawless block sound, like the amount of flawless blocks from Galaisi throughout this set. Look at this defense. So much patience here. Are we getting that sweet game 5 chat? Good take, Ravelina. Of course, aware that those throws are a problem. Right. Plenty of time on the clock, too. I feel like this has been down to like the last few seconds. I look up and it's still 40 seconds on the clock here. Galezi has to close the gap now. Revelina plays a little bit more defensive, of course. Try to create distance so he doesn't have to deal with that strike throw from Lukang. That's what I'm saying. This matchup seems to be all about that life lead and just forcing the other character yeah. to have to get him. Oh, that was so delayed. Good flawless block. Punish. All right. Revelina stays alive. <laughs> Sweep. And now we're up close, but another attack. How is Ravelina able to press that button so quick? Yeah, I have no idea. That's what separates these players from us. <laughs> and that was such a dirty bait on the jump in. Ravelina was aware he tries to anti-air and then we special cancel. Mid-air. Hey, Funkmaster, this is still the very first set of the day, so you didn't miss very much at all. Game 5, I want to see it. Ravelina one touch away. Here's the cold shoulder. Ooh. Here we go. No breaker in sight. I'm gonna cash out. Yeah. 40 plus. Numbers still going up. Be humble. No, Ooh, Robo wait. Robo wait. wait. This isn't gonna kill. Robo wait. Twenty percent. Now this. <laughs> Ravelina. Ravelina, we want to get five. Monclisi is on. Good flawless block. Look at this. Galizi defense. Yeah. Flawless block. Ice armor coming Miss in. Shit! I cannot believe this. I'm sweating, even though I'm not even playing the game. First game five of the night, and honestly, every single one here with us in the crowd and everyone on YouTube, I want you guys to go crazy real quick because we start today's event with the game five. Galizi versus Raven Lena. I want to see the arena burn. And Robo, I need at least 600 emotes in the chat right now. Hey, no, Robo, well. this is. I don't know what kind of hype train you are trying to create here, but this is insane. The only kind of hype train we want here in Rift Arena. I'm talking level 50. Let's go. I love you guys so much. Robo, thank you. Game 5 situation. Galizi and Raven Lina. This is going to go the full distance and I'm all in for it. Oh, <laughs> that little bit of stuff. didn't even not know what to do right there. Oh, I can barely talk, but look at look at Ravelina going crazy. Going nuts. Round two. Fight. Ravelina going nuttier than a squirrel's diaper. <laughs> oh, Galizi trying to find the right answer, but right now this is Ravelina all over the place. Woo, yeah, I don't know what happened to Ravelina. Looking pretty rough here for Galiza. The wake up fatal. And this, this was a Robocop Combat League fatal right there, chat. <laughs> hey, if it works, works. That is exactly how he laughs afterwards as well. Yeah, the scumier the better. Oh! Ravenlina finding that momentum here in the last match, even though the first rounds were so close. 
That was kind of dominant. GG's. Yeah, that last day. Again, I don't know what happened to Raven Nina, but he's just like, all right, let's, let's go finish this. Yeah, man. Oh, that's such a gross. A beautiful set from start to finish. I gotta say that I'm pretty sure not a lot of people expected this to go the full distance. That means game five. But man, both players delivered. The overall level in the arena is crazy as always. And I'm so proud that we are able to showcase that to the big audience and celebrate here every single evening with this great community. Guys, thank you so much for being here. This is just the beginning though. So much more to talk about because coming up next... Arena champion time. Rinsler is back versus one of our new kids on the block, Horror Angel, who showcased a very, very strong Shang Tsung the last time here on stream. But I know that Horror Angel can play a lot of different characters on a very high level, so I'm super hyped for this one. And I'm pretty sure, Robo, with a little bit of luck, we might see another game five. No idea what I'm capable of. All right, let's see the Mavado. The Mavado here. Mavado. Fight. Yeah, I wonder if Horror Angel is gonna play uh, Ghostface. I can't wait for gold. Connection looks very, very rough, and <laughs> I'm not sure what happened here, especially with the with the disconnect. I mean, it could just be that crossplay nonsense. With crossplay, we unfortunately never know. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes. When I boot up this game on PC, it's just utterly flawless. It's like, like, why would anyone get this on console? And other times I boot it up, and it's like, <laughs> it's just borderline unplayable. And you never know which one you're gonna get. Alright, Horror Ranger looking for that opening, but that's yeah. okay. And Rinsa saying, you know what, let me just face. throw a few projectiles real quick. I'm gonna tape some Roman candles to my arms <laughs> and cosplay as Lee May. Oh, that is damage. 40, 41% just like that. Great pickup from Horror Angel. Yeah, Lee May's damage output is absurd, but honestly, she needs it. Chat prediction, very, very one-sided in Rinsa's favor, by the way. We have 94%, close to half a million channel points. Yeah, we can see why. Horror Angel just having a really tough time getting anything started here. Did this man just play football about. with Shang Tsung's head? Is, is, that, is that what I saw? Oh, yeah. Well, the Brutes in MK1 are getting out of hand. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Chat, am I the only one? Everyone who's never seen that before, drop a one in the chat right now. Wait, I'm going to be the first one. I try to see something. Okay, I'm not alone. A lot of people in the chat literally saw this for the first time as well. Rinsler up 1-0. And we got Horror Angel making that change to Reptile. Sticking with Mavadu. <laughs> Is there any part of Umbadu <laughs> that you miss? Mabadu. Above all, the sisterhood. Round one. We got two Mabadus on screen. Hey, what's up, Hody? Hody's nuts. I love these classic ninja outfits, too. Oh, looking for the Crocodile Dundee, but Rinsla was ready. Dropped it, though. This one is on me, I'm sorry. Okay. So much that zoning, so many projectiles left and right. Now. But Horror Angel right now quite close to take this run. A block! <laughs> I feel like Horror Angel is having better luck zoning with Reptile than he was right. with uh, You're right, Robo, you have a point there. Rinsa is saying, you know what, let me try to play this as lame as possible. I can understand. <laughs> Reptile with all the buffs is so strong, especially up close with all those cancels and the space control. You really don't want to deal with that. 
Not at all. But here we go. Got him in the corner. Oh, got out of the corner. I love that Destiny in the chat is saying, Social, we need you in the arena. Destiny, Social is literally the next player on the card. <laughs> Collar in for a treat. Man, that stagger pressure from the May is crazy. Okay, four eight, so just trying to get anything going now. Spacing. Robo, wait a minute. There's the break. Rinsler, potentially in trouble. One hit confirm. And he got called. Oh, that was all calculated. I will prevail. That was all round. Fight. All those balls. Good jump in. That was a nice read from Rinsler. Horror Angel once again in trouble here. All these staggers. Rinsler doesn't want to lose his turn, but now we are slowly but surely getting into that sweet Chippo territory. A lot of defense here. For Rinsler is not getting shimmied as well. He's playing this so solid. Oh. Well, that seems rude. Brutality. Lee May wins. Rinsler is confident, and right now we are sitting on sweep point. Yep, started out with a uh, game five, looking like we're going to follow that up with a 3 0, but let's oh, see if a four can bring this back. Orangel definitely has what it takes to bring this back, but of course, Rinsla, we talk about an arena champion, not an easy opponent to have. But oh, I yeah. see all the Lee May fans in the chat going crazy. Fortunate and a big thank you to close to 400 people here with us on Twitch. Woo! You guys are amazing. Robo, I'm getting a little bit nervous. Don't you all have anything better to do That's on That's right. Yeah, I always ask the same <laughs> question as well. Over it gets blocked. Nice with punish. Juicy damage here from Reptile. And even Fabs is here. Yeah, we can't get rid of Fabs. Even on his days off, he is here in the chat saying, making my day a little bit better. We love you, Fabs. Cannot wait to have you back on the mic. I know Fabs is excited about the social set. He's been playing social a lot in his own stream and uh, not having a great time. Uh, social is a sweat. Oh yeah. But so is Peruvian Dog. Next match, by the way. That. Whoa! <laughs> I keep forgetting that's even a mechanic Rinsler. in this game. Rinsler. 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 I'm. The chat. Like, where do you see stuff like that? Tell me, guys. On YouTube. Tell me. This is. This is mind blowing. Robo, I commentate these sets. I just wish I could play the game like that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how these guys have time to play at such a high level. Just to do this on the fly, like, as a reactionary thing, I don't understand how it's even humanly possible. Right, and like, not even learning your own character and learning, like, all this crazy tech, but how to deal with all the craziness in this game. Like, these players are just so knowledgeable about every aspect of this game. It's crazy. Right. I can understand the players that they're saying, you know, winning the arena championship is so hard because so many people across the entire globe are competing, you know, and the overall level is just so high. So high. back to your home. Final round. Fight. All right. We got Renzo looking to close this out right here, right now. Horror Angel trying to stay alive for one more set. Getting the winning the zoning. The leg spike, okay, but we're not impressed. I'm really pretty sure it's a crossplay thing. Trades, but right now every single trade is in Winsler's favor. The launch is saying, when do we see Fabs playing again? Tag Fabs in the chat, he's here, ask him. Fabs! Beef set, Fabs versus social.
And Robo just like that. Oh, Prince uh, sending a big, big statement. 3 0 W over Horror Angel. But honestly, the score doesn't really represent how close these individual rounds actually were. Yeah, that was one great set. It was a phenomenal set, and really that's what we can expect at this point. I was working out. Yeah, I think that's what the community expects from us as well, Robo. So many great players here, but there is more. And about the next set, we have to talk. Robo, you mentioned it in the beginning. Social, a very, very big name during our MK11 events back then. One of the strongest MK11 players in Europe, even though he hates to say, he hates to hear me saying this, but <laughs> so much talent. Then, of course, a little bit upset with the game, dropped the competitive side and is now back on the grind. But here, this matchup versus Peruvian Dog, I think it's going to be a banger. I don't even know what character Social mains at this point. I know that he started with Reiko originally in MK1. And I think Reiko is still a solid, solid pick for competitive play. But I'm sending these invites out right now, Robo. And then let's see who is the superior MK1 player. Yeah, we will see. I, I swear to this day that Social is a legit psychic. Like, he somehow guesses correctly on every mix, every stagger, every, I mean, every guess. Do yeah, guesses but, correctly. It's, cr it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. But I see something already. A few people here in the chat, they remember Social definitely. Because look at the chat prediction. We have seen Peruvian Dog play so many times lately versus strong opponents as well. And still 91% on Social. Okay, guys, I see some more <laughs> Maybe we talked him up a bit too much. No question. Okay, I'll be right back, Chris. Robo, take all the time you need, my friend. And social brings the general. And of course, that makes me smile here. The untrained eye. Round one, fight. Another crossplay match. Here comes the grab, yeah? Sit down, my friend. We got Social Rock in that Shao Mavadu. That is right, yeah. And Peruvian right now does a good job with space control. Not easy for Shao. Oh, interesting string from Social right into the trap. Full combo. Guys, I'm going to show you something after, after this match. You're going to love your asses off. All right, social is going hit right now. Round two, fight. Yeah, the tech in the chat. Social, All right. he still is a monster robo. Yeah, and Perfian Dog just cannot get out of this corner. Just as we are, we playing mind games. <laughs> Look at that, that is so nasty. We close oh, it out with the that head. overhead. And chat, I'm literally laughing my ass off right now. Our design team just reached out to me and they said, Rip, the thumbnail for today is done. And guys, the fun story is they always ask me, okay, what happened in the stream, right? So we can prepare a thumbnail and they can get to work. And I said, it was a little bit toxic. We had Kanimani, Arn Kratos, and Arena is free on the card. And the designer said, did they teabag the other players again? And I said, yes. Robo, do you want to see what they sent me? Let's see. Chat, what the hell is this? Chat, what the hell is <laughs> <laughs> These, they deserve a raise at this point. Oh like, come God. on. <laughs> it is so wild because th there is so much work going into every... They literally work on this shit for three or four hours every single day just for the thumbnail. So many people tell me, Rip, it's not even worth to put so much effort into a thumbnail, but I can't stop it. Look how great they look. Yeah, and weirdly, the only ones they had to Photoshop were Kratos and uh, the villain. Ugh. That's really what Connie looks like. All right, but well, we are back in here. We got. We are back at it. Yes. Just no win. 
true, but I could, I could save so much money by just firing our design team for the thumbnails, but I can't. It is too good. <laughs> Do it yourself in Microsoft Paint. No, but of, but of course, um, our design team is super, super grateful for the support because because of you guys, they basically are able to do what they love as well. And I hope you guys are aware of that. Yeah, we've got the whole rips economy going now. That is, that is, <laughs> basically, it is, it is wild, yes. How many people are involved here, like with full-time jobs as well, and all that provided by this great community in the back, by the YouTube side. Guys, we appreciate yeah. you. By now, Rips Arena has fully paid for at least one German highway. <laughs> hey, Roomba. All right, but we got social uh, there, but, but uh, social closing it out. See if Peruvian Dog can make any adjustments here. Social right now in control 1 0 up, but this this can change any moment because Peruvian Dogs Noob Cyber is very, very strong. Big shout out to my boy the, uh, Thank you so much for the right, brother. There's a huge health difference here. We got 1050 versus 1000. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what's up, both, both players build like Dark Souls boss. Good challenge, Proven Dark. Oh, these guys are pressing. Stealing turns, X on the ground, and now it's party time, Robo. You know the mixed potential of the general? X on the ground, X on the ground. Acting like a fool with your X on the ground. Try to be a cool cat looking like a fool cat. Oh, this rep is so good, we might get copyright problems. <laughs> Pressure. Stroke, uh, stroke, strike throw. Do we see another brute? <laughs> oh, I got the stroke throw going uh, in. Uh, Robo, stop it! <laughs> uh, God, really liking that social gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> Even social in the chat is repeating it, of course. I'm sorry, chat. Stroke throw? I, I hate you guys so much. I hate you guys so much. Some people like Mortal Kombat, but Rip loves it. <laughs> I'm ending the stream right now. That's what you guys get. Oh no. The stroke throw. Oh no, no, now we have a new phrase here in the arena. General Shaw, I wanted to say strike throw, Chad, I promise. <laughs> Ying Good old Freudian slip. You should have thought of that before. Chad, can we keep this event here professional, at least for the YouTube side? <laughs> Round one. Fight. All right, Peruvian dog, gotta make something happen here. Social looking for a sweep, and that's, I think, the best way to return to the arena. All right, but here's that new tribot damage. Let's get out here. Only 25%. That seems like an awful lot of work for 25%. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. And yes, I agree with all of You guys are lucky that the YouTube side cannot read the chat. <laughs> Y'all, it is disgusting. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. But no, Peruvian Dog needs to get something started, bro. Who started with the whip? I think the Social whip. was trying to whip punish. Thirty seconds on the clock here. Proving a dog terrified right now. That shallow Mavadu. The opening. Oh, drops it though. He can't be making mistakes like that against Social because here we go. And Social cash out. Rocking those Ron DeSantis heels. And, that and is, the plus spray. Yeah, I love that. OTG into sweep, get some guaranteed chip in, and it was enough here at the end versus Proven Dog. Who is now with his back against the wall? Social looking for the 3 0 sweep. Well, knowing Social, I don't think he's going to have a, a super hard time finding it, but hey, let's see if Peruvian Dog can make some adjustments here. Yeah, x -Brawl, I agree. Social's pressure is crazy, and I, I wasn't even aware that he has a shower like that. Oh, 
the micro duck into me? You just built different, bro. Oh, but wait a minute, Fuvin Duck could be something deepest, but again, right, social probably. knows how to deal with it. Mavadu coming in clutch. Uh, 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 uh. A disgusting performance, and all I can say at this Pretty point true. is social. Welcome back to the arena after an eternity. One of the best MK11 players we had in our series, and now he's continuing his reign of terror here in MK1. That's a very good animal. That was for you, Fruity Fetus. Animality. Phenomenal performance. All right. Yeah, GG's Peruvian dog. Yeah, social, one of the toughest opponents you can get. Even yeah, but you called it, Robo. Super active. You called it. Oh, yeah. I'm never wrong, really. But Chad, of course, you know it. We are far away from done here in the arena. Coming up next. But now the hey, players are go. in the lobby, Chad. We should be good to go on paper. The Neshim versus our jump in Tetra. Do we see that Sub-Zero Tremor again? Oh, Robo, I'm such a big fan of that combination. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this matchup before. <laughs> in the Zero, were assassins. Mine are no less deadly. Round one, fight. Oh, hey, Shutter. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Shutter, the next time, please just send me a message. We... It leads to so much delay and so much confusion, and it just looks unprofessional as hell. I don't understand how this even happened in the first place, yeah. honestly. Alright, but this gear is going crazy right now. But no, back to the match we go. Oh, that looked like an input error. Hey, Fruity, that's what uh, Tetra's uh, girlfriend said. <laughs> Looking for that overhead, good interrupt from the Nezim, and that Gears is so strong. We're down to one touch territory here. Those players are what the? on the clock, and I'm not quite sure about that. There. Oh, but what happened? I think the overhead traded with the slide and one. All these daggers. Daggers to death. Right now, it is all the Robo, big, big pressure incoming here in the corner. Tetra trying to find a way out. I got a Discord stream going a little crazy, Rip. And that forward there four go. is going to do it. The Nezim once again sending a statement chat. One of the best gears I've seen so far in MK1. Yeah, I love that team too, the Gears Motaro. And I'm just thinking about it, Robo. I honestly think that the Nezim is the only Gears main we have in the arena. Like true Gears loyalists. Yeah, I can't think of any others other than Milo, but I know Milo, no, Milo, Milo doesn't others, play right? Gears anymore. From time to time, but oh. plays a lot of Reiko and different characters, but Dineshim is a true loyalist. Gotcha. Very, very impressive. 
Because even after the buffs, the character still struggles from time to time in competitive play, and that's maybe the reason why we don't see him that much. Could be. Round one, fight. Alright, but now we got that switch to Melina and Sonya. Yeah, and that oh, is Tetra's OG main. I think Melina, he played Melina before Sub Zero. I think I was watching Tetra play this team in, uh, in Mates. Yep, earlier potentially. and making a lot of use out of that jumping uh, Sonya. Let's try to shimmy, doesn't work out. Good defense from Petra, but of oh, course yeah. we have a command trap. But right now, Dimension doesn't even look impressed by that character switch robot. No, not at all. I mean, right. <laughs> it's tough to get more dominating than that. <laughs> Sonya, Ariel, Sonya move. Ooh, big old punish here. Oh, little, little freeze, even in game, it lagged a little bit. Do you think that's what Gears can do now? Is that a new buff? Yeah. What the hell is this? Beautiful defense here from Tetra. Nice catch a neutral. Go ahead, right here. Good Oh, and we're spending a lot of resources here on Tetra's end. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Tetra believes. All right. I love that lock. <laughs> This is going to be the Lockdown. 2 Lockdown. lead. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> one of the best Gears players in the arena. The Nezhem is back and Tetra is struggling. I legit can't believe that works. Just walk, slowly walk across the screen <laughs> and then just launch. I know that Xbrawl in the chat enjoyed this one. Xbrawl is always here for a little bit of toxicity and the Nezhem right now. I think that counts. <laughs> Good enough for me, Rip. Now, Xprol, I see you. Sweet point, Chet. Your actions disappoint my creator. I care nothing for Liu Kang's approval. Alright, so we got that switch back to sub. Round one. Fight. And here at the top right, we can see B Wood already getting ready for his next set. I like it. B Wood is prepared. Once again, the reminder for everyone watching this on YouTube if it's an NA set, we need the NA players to send the invites so they can play in low ping, and that's exactly what's going to happen next. B Wood versus Toadstar coming up. Debut fight, by the way, on stream for the first time. Hope you guys are ready. And Nox, thank you so much for the resubscription here saying love you ribs thank you for all you do i have to thank you guys for keeping me going all right got trimmer slamming down that big old meatball excuse me robot are we the same thing <laughs> triple clone Blender time. Oh, Blender crazy. time. Tries to poke out. Bro, but it's, this is so <laughs> crazy. Yeah, I don't. I legit. I don't know how you defend against that. Round two. 
fight. <laughs> the gear is center. Yeah, the gear is center. That's what we're watching right now. And the Nashim, that is just so impressive. He makes this character look oh! absolutely broke, Robo. Did you all see that? He got a conversion off the command grab with the Motaro turn. That is just so sick. I'm honestly really sad Tetra broke because I wanted to see how much damage that was going to do. Tetra in serious trouble right now. Very good block. The defense is on point as well. And Tetra's health bar is melting away in front of our eyes. Oh, he's squeezing out all the damage, Robo. Look at this. 40, 40 plus another yeah, one. 40 plus. Bro, what the hell? What is this? Bro! And that's gonna do it. Oh. Oh. Into the... More sand Girl. the hourglass. <laughs> Once again, and I don't know how many times I actually said that here in the last weeks. I'm speechless, chat. Like, what the hell? Whew. Can we get some emotes in the chat for absolutely no reason? Because that shit is hype as hell. I just don't even know what to say after that. That was one of the craziest garrisons I've ever seen. What are you doing to us? 3-0 versus Tetra. And that is something you don't see every day. Woo! Yeah, Nox, no, I agree. High-level Gears is beautiful to watch and something we really don't see a lot in MK1. Especially in tournaments. But shit, we have one more. And now it's time for the NA side of the arena. Bwood is back after a long time on stream versus a literal debut fight. Toadstar for the first time, Robo. And I know that Toadstar is a little bit nervous right now. I'm sending out these invites. And if I saw it correctly, I think Toadstar is a Kung Lao main. And that means another character Ooh. we don't see a lot anymore. Yeah. All right. I do not envy them right now because, uh, of course, Bwood, formerly known as the villain, is uh, here for blood. Let's see how this one turns out. Good luck to both players. And at the same time, a big thank you to everyone who decides to spend some time with us on this beautiful Sunday. We hope you enjoy the show. And both of them are already here. That means Robo, no downtime. We're diving right in. Let's go. No, Chad, b is not the villain. Robo just said it like that. No, is he not? <laughs> no. Was. no, Robo. Who's the villain? No. <laughs> Who am I thinking of? <laughs> I, have, I have no idea. You mean the, the villain's name was B Robo, like B, but it's not B Wood. Oh, oh, gotcha. Go then I'm just old and confused. Yeah, all. Robo, you're just Ignore old. Th that's what it is. You're just old. Round one, fight. The chat is like, where's the villain now? Officially retired. We're trying to get him back, but guys, I can't promise anything. Hilsar is rocking the, the Season 1 Kung Lao Goro. Alright, but b is going ham right now. And b uh, Robo to me, he looks kind of ready. Round two. Fight. Oh, so many active frames on that laser. And Sig is saying, uh, can North America... Yes, this is a North American set you're watching right now. Both of these guys are North American. I'm North American. I'm not. Even though, you know, I sound like a native speaker without any accent. Man, that laser putting in work. What an anti-air. Alright, where's the anti-air? There's the armor. The knives to keep it safe. Hold it over at Yup, Tolsta. Didn't watch his dome and has to pay the price for it. Wait, people is fishing for something. 
Yep, and that's what he wanted. The brute to secure oh. that one all lead. Brutality. General Shaw wins. His head looks like I'm... the Halloween pumpkin I've had outside for too long. Maruba, I'm enjoying these sets today. I think we see some great MK1 action here every single day. Oh, yeah. Sweatiest sets in the world. Let's All see if right. it might be a character switch. And it actually is. I see Shang Tsung on the right now. We got the Shang Shijinko team. Wait, the Shang Jinko? Shang Jinko. Let's okay, go. let me let me get back to the gameplay. Oh, oh he got punished for that. That's so sad. Now he's in the corner. Trying to jump out. Here is not going to give him any opportunity to get away with Chang Shijinko shenanigans. He would have such an experienced competitive player as well. Fight. Yo, SSS. Chang Shijinko shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> they best right now. This man has taken 30% damage in down threes. Interesting sequence, the way we would set that up to keep the pressure after. This is looking rough. Oh, there goes that life lead. Gonna be just needs one touch. Those balls in his face, so, and I shut that now. This is so close. Oh, the jumping, but he gets sniped. Yeah, such a big hitbox. All those amplified skulls. Right, and the Discord stream is going crazy again. There we go. There's that Shijinko, get a little karate chop going. Who is set up from people? I like that. Oh, into the overhead. <laughs> and that is where Shao really shines in the corner. X on the ground. Is it low? Is it overhead? Is it strike throw? Is it command grab? You guys tell me. Game right now, no punish on the whiff grab. Chinko putting in work here. All right, now we got the shower mirror. Trying to break the diamond. Be what? One touch away from two elite. That was that was smart to go for the double poke as if he knew. Oh, and the breaker. Right, Oh, but this is oh. this is unbelievable. <laughs> 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 oh, that's Shit, my heart can't take this. What a set. Debut fight. Let me remember you guys. Toadstar is here for the first time and Bebot is feeling the pressure. Live by the stroke throw, die by the stroke throw. I hate you so much, Robo. Let me take a look at the chat prediction because I have a feeling here. Yes, that's what I expected. 94% on b -Bot. Round one. Shane making things happen. Top it up. What for? Oh, 
not ready for that overhead. Yeah, but Tosa is getting more and more confident, Robo. You see that? Oh, yeah. Nice little 35% conversion there. A lot of players are so scared when they play it for the first time on stream, and I can understand it because so many people judge your gameplay. You know, I just realized that Shang Song has more health than General Shao right now because of the Pachinko. I don't think Toadstar has used Shang's overhead a single time. Clip, and that's going to be it. My realm meets. Round two. Fight. Huge jumping. Great, great read from Beavold here. And again, the setup. Kano making it safe. Not your turn yet. Big lollipop swing, of course, launches on hit. Tried it again, but that is a big whiff, but no punish at least. And Shujinko is returning the favor, saying, let me show you how it's done properly. <laughs> I got your lollipop right here. Good mid check, back one. Pick up. Woo. All right, coming down to the wire here. Throws the grab. Oh, over it connects once again. Very, very, very close situation. <laughs> and B would had enough this time. I love that they added that throw brood as well. It scared me because my cat rubbed against my foot, so I looked down, and when I looked back up, Shane's <laughs> face was just on my screen. And that means we have B-Boot sitting on match point, everyone. But I have the feeling this this might go the full distance. Oh, it could. Curious if we'll see a, a switch here. Nope, sticking it I'm out. With I'm so Shane sad that... The freaking YouTube site is only allowed to see that gray screen all the time because of the German regulations. Guys, we are so sorry for it. And it actually, it takes so much work. Like, I would love to just, you know, upload uh, and Robo, here I am sitting every, every single day for like two or three hours cutting out every single bit of, you know what. That's it. Not looking at this two star. Oh, Tosa lost so much HP already, not trying to bring it back. Ooh, got clipped by the lollipop. Round two. Fight. That was a dirty interrupt, yeah. Don't start saying don't even try, bro. Neutral, but that Chang Pog is so good. That was so active. Oh, he got caught by that. Another one. Dude, what are you doing? Oh, what the? Robo! Oh, this has to be a fatal blow. And he got caught just 
just like that, Bewot takes it. 3-1 over Toadstar, but I gotta say, I'm very, very impressed, especially considering that this was his first time on stream. Hey, I'm back. Sorry, my cat jumped on my computer and turned it off. Don't even it's worry about this, Robo. I need to get the bot going. <laughs> Bewot was able to clutch it out, but generally speaking, I think we saw some very, very impressive MK1 gameplay today. And even though it breaks my heart, I unfortunately have to tell you guys that this was the last match on stream today. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for the generosity, especially to you, Robo, as well. You know, I always have a big smile on my face when I'm allowed to commentate one of these qualifier events with you together. Robo, did you enjoy it just as much as I did? Oh, you know it, Rip. Uh, the highlight of my day. That's what we love to hear. Guys, we're going to be back tomorrow with week number three. Yes, time flies. We are making big, big steps towards another season finale. But what we're going to do now is we're going to send you over to another great content creator. Stay safe. Have a wonderful evening, wonderful day, wherever you are watching from. And thank you so much for everything you do for us on a daily basis, especially to the YouTube side as well. Guys, bye-bye. We're out.